welcome to the November 30th edition of the Tuesday Trivia right here on Twitch. We're back for another week after two excellent games these last two weeks where it came down to the wire. We had Metal Dan with the ever so cursed question 10, which seemed to fail him the last two weeks. He was in the lead, and then all of a sudden it just fell apart. But um, let's see. Is this the week that Metal Dan triumphantly comes back and shows everyone what he's capable of? So uh, we will, as usual, wait a few minutes till about 15 after and figure out If other people will be joining us, it's usually a few minutes later where people start to jump on in. They receive notification that um, that that I'm actually online and that this is ready to go. So we'll, we'll wait on other people joining us. I see that Yarg Metal, Brad Dahl, last week's winner, last week's champion, has... Logged in. Hopefully he will be joining us soon in the chat. And hopefully Metal Dan comes back. Perhaps Mike, maybe Jeremy in the UK who have been all of our recent... um, (laughs) Any recent... uh, uh, Recent participants, I should say. Brad, has anyone said... uh, Have any of your patients... Use the um, the phrase Armageddon yet today? <laughs> the the safe word Armageddon. Excuse me. Yes, uh, Brad sends me a lot of different interesting stories from the world of poison control, and a lot of times all you can do is really laugh or shake your head <laughs> and say, "What's wrong with these people, man?" But, um, yeah, so cool. So we're back for another week here. And we'll see how this all kind of plays out. Oh, wow. Saw that uh, Iron Maiden and Marvel are going to be doing a team-up. And just checking out the actual, oh, that looks sick. Bastards. Seriously, I mean, the first piece of Iron Maiden, like, merch that I've wanted to purchase in the longest time. And see, now it it says that it uh, ships from the UK, and now there's all kinds of problems with that, thanks to Brexit, where I just found out from Amazon. uh, I ordered something for my kids, and I have to give all types of information in order to 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 get the stuff in in order to get um wow so if i want this t-shirt it is 50 bucks with shipping from the uk because it's 35 euros plus 1058 to ship so it's 4558 in euros so let's go to xe.com and see what the exchange rate is What I say it was, let's see, 45.54. So 45.54 in dollars is 51.65. So, and that's with a favorable exchange. Usually that exchange rate is tendered to somebody who is exchanging $10,000 or more. So for a poor slob like me to get that, I mean, I can look to see if Amazon has it, which I doubt Amazon will have something like that. But man, that's that really blows. Um, it's essentially a T-shirt of the Trooper, and it looks like it's on like a, a, the cover of a comic book. It looks really neat, at least to me. 
Uh, let's see. Iron Maiden. Uh, would help if I spelled Marvel right. Oh, they have it. Oh, yes, they do. Interesting. So there's essentially the Trooper, a Wolverine mashup, um, several Wolverine mashups, and Venom and Carnage. So kind of cool. I'll definitely check these out. It's cheaper from Amazon. It's only 34 euros with free shipping for me since I've got Amazon Prime. But um, logging in, quiz kit, identify linked. Cool. Identity linked. Can't read. What's this look like? Cool. That's really a famous Wolverine like drawing. That's like one of the first I've ever seen. So that's really cool. Infinite Dreams. You had to get me on that. Oh, wow. So it's Eddie, the original Maiden England with, um, with Ghost Rider. So that's a cool mix. And I see that that's already sold out in some sizes. So people are moving on this stuff. I don't get it. It just says Fear of the Dark and it shows Venom. Yeah, yeah. There's no missing sizes there. I wonder why. But uh, pretty cool. So, yeah, so we're about six minutes away from starting up this week's trivia. We'll see exactly who is joining us this week in a little bit. There's two of you guys. And I'll do this. If, if Dan wins, well, if Dan wins... He'll get the uh, the five dollars off, and since Brad already won last week, oh, okay, so we got Mike there. Okay, Mike is in. Talks world has ended. Back into Yargland. Come on and love me. There you go. Hey, Brad. Actually, I had a uh, Yarg metal on today, and a dirty look song came on, and like halfway through, the song cut out. So. I don't know. That area is kind of sketchy for me sometimes with phone reception. But I was able to listen to music on, you know, that I was streaming through my iPhone. So it was kind of weird that Yarg Metal cut out. Um, I'm not sure what Dirty Looks song. I'm not the hugest Dirty Looks fan. I know that... Uh, it was off the, the album with the blue cover on it. I have that album, but only because somebody I worked with was like, oh, you need to check this out. Steve Harris produced the band. Yes, Violence in Blue, I believe, was the name of the song. I think, I believe you are correct, sir. So, yeah, I don't know, it was weird. So, again, it could be me, or I'm just mentioning this in the event that it may have been... It may have been off of that album, or it may have been the, the you know the stream as opposed to me. But if there's any way that you can check that out, you know, go ahead and do so. All right, five more minutes until we start all of our trivia madness, folks. Trivia madness for today. We'll see who comes out on top. Gets a $5 discount from the Mars Attacks merch store. I promise. New merch designs being worked on right now. And new tiers have been added to Patreon, which will offer some, some stuff that will be available in the merch store and some stuff that will be Patreon exclusive because I believe in making the Patreon experience um 
important for people. I, I want it. I want to make it worth their wild. And um, after this show, I will be posting the latest episode of the Mark Striegel show up on his Patreon. And uh, for people that are followers of Mark Striegel, all I'll say is that there's some important news that you want, you'll want to hear. So I've been sworn to secrecy. So that's all, all I'll say. You'll need, to, you'll need to listen to the episode to find out exactly what's taking place. So hey, you just bought a truckload of more music today. What, what stuff did you pick up, Brad? <laughs> yeah, no, it's not, not that. <laughs> it's definitely something, uh, as, uh, as uh, people would say, I, I had a friend who would say, yeah, it's Defern. So, yes, it's something Defern, man. Some people f fight that for a long time. Absolutely. Look at look at Elton John. Married, had a kid, everything. And and actually, I can't go as far as Elton John. My accountant. My accountant was married for a very long time. Has two sons that are probably in their 30s now. Um, and he came out. He's been happily married to his... Husband for, I don't know how many years it is now, but very nice guy. Always been great to the family. You do what you got to do. Uh, you know, his prerogative, not mine. Oh, wow. I'm seeing that they're actually aces high model planes. So that's kind of neat. You th you think that's that's what it is, Metal Dan? <laughs> so no, uh, he uh, you know I don't know what he says to who, but uh, I'm I'm not gonna let the uh, the cat out of the bag. Let me uh, raise myself up here. Let me do the uh, Peter Chris right before we we start the uh, quiz here. Let me see what window I have it open on. Here we go. And one minute to go, folks. One minute to go. Here we go. I said one minute, but it looks like the clock already struck uh, 15 after. Yeah, I wanted to pull the trigger on some of those super deluxes. They were each 75 euros. Um, right when like the Black Monday stuff started on Amazon. <laughs> uh, um, I will say Metal Dan, I'm working on that for for next week because, I mean, the only Paul that I have right now, and here's the link if, Mike, if I don't know if you've gone through this yet to make sure that it's you and we don't see Participant 48. The best Paul or the only Paul that I have right now, and my plan is that once I take that two-week break, I'm really going to work on on all of this stuff, but since we are doing Kiss next week, I am uh, I am looking for some Kiss sound bites. But this is the only thing I got with Paul so far. Listen, I want to tell you all. I want to tell you you've been a dynamite audience, and you deserve to give yourselves a round of applause. Let's go. So maybe we'll throw an act in there, and some other things along the line. We'll we'll see. 
So, yeah, I'm waiting for the third, the third on Friday to order the wolf tooth so I can get it from their band camp and ensure that the most amount of money goes to them. So, here we go. Let's start the game up. Which is the only Rainbow album Graham Bonnet sings on? Is it Rainbow Rising? Is it Shout at the Devil? Is it Down to Earth or is it Difficult to Cure? Three of these obviously are Rainbow albums. Well, I say obviously. And one is not. One has Jolyn Turner. Not exactly my favorite rainbow singer. I'll say that. The correct answer is down to earth. So uh, you guys all got this right. Yeah, you, you, you hit the right one there. It's down to earth. So Mike is in the lead and we have metal Dan second and Brad in third. We could, there's still a long way to go. Still nine questions to go. We've known from the last few weeks that this can change at the drop of a hat. So let's do it. Little John Bush there. All right. Tommy Lee, which of these bands has he not played in? Has he not played in? And I apologize for my illiterate English there. Rockstar Supernova, Method of Mayhem, Motley Crue, or Crazy Town. Which of these bands has he not been a member of? Which of these bands has he not played in? Let's see. Let's see which which one... Which one is right? Which one is the right answer as to which one he was not a part of? Aha. You all got this correct. So, um, let's see. Let's see the scores. Mike once again. Brad in second. With chiming in there and Metal Dan third. So far, Mike is in the lead. Metal Dan in second and Brad in third. Okay. All right. What, or what is the name of the self titled debut by Audio Slave? Is it Audio Slave? Is it Pure Rock Fury? Is it Revelations or is it Out of Exile? Yes. So this is similar a similar question to uh you know the 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 old uh what color was George Washington's white horse. So let's see we're waiting on you guys. Aha, you all got audio slave. So, awesome. Ozzy likes that you guys squeaked that one out. Or that at least Metal Dan squeaked it out, I should say. Mike in second, Brad in third. We've got um, Mike... Getting a, a bigger lead there, but it's not, you know, it's not all said and done. So let's see. Joey Vera, ready for the next question? I'm ready. All right. Tom Morello has not been a member of which of these bands? Audio Slave, Iced Earth, Rage Against the Machine, or Prophets of Rage? Which of these has he not been a member of? Uh, 
Let's see. Audio Slave, Iced Earth, Iced Coffee, Rage Against the Machine, Prophets of Rage. And the three of you guys have gotten it correct. Let's see here. Let's show the scores. Again, once again, Mike is squeaking his questions out above Metal Dan. Brad seems to uh, be under the effects of um, maybe a Black Widow bite or something like that. Just coming in after last week's win, he's, he's still reeling. So Mike is in first by roughly 9,000 points. And uh, let's see, Brad is about 4,000 behind that. He only had five hours of sleep. Terrible, terrible, terrible. So let's go to the next one. Who did not play guitar in Thin Lizzy? And I didn't fix this uh, misprint. And actually, I didn't fix this question. So, um, actually, all of these guys have played in Thin Lizzy, and I should have fixed this. This is one of our first week questions. So, um, I'll give you guys a freebie here. If you haven't answered, it, it would be uh, Vivian Campbell will, will get you points here, so... Yeah, Vivian Campbell actually played in a version of Thin Lizzy right before they launched Black Star Riders. These are the questions that we've been doing these last few weeks are pretty much the ones that I, a bunch that I did the first week. And this one and the, the Tommy Lee one I forgot to fix. So I do apologize. There will be better Q&A or quality control after this. But uh, yeah. So Midge, Midge Uggy, who I spelt wrong, should have been Midge Urge. Um, he actually did play in Thin Lizzy. So he came in after Brian Robertson and um, was only in for a short amount of time. He's best known for his work in Ultravox. And yeah, this sucks. Uh, because that's, um, I fucked that one up, so I do apologize. Let's see, he stood in for Dr. Chud while Chud was trying out new singers in The Misfits. Is it Martin Atkins? Is it Joel Gostin? Is it Frank Ferrer? Or is it Paul Ferguson? I'll give you a hint. He's been a guest on the show twice. So if you pay attention to the podcast, you'll know which of these guys I've had on the show. He's actually been on within the last year. <laughs> how was that not question 10? Yeah. That, how, was, how was that me not going back and fixing that? I'm kicking myself for that. So Joel Gostin, one of you guys got it. And that was Brad. Wow. So that actually makes Brad pull ahead. Question seven. Which one of these never played bass and prong? Is it Troy Gregory? Is it Paul... Raven, is it Monty Pittman or is it Paul Gray? Which never played for Prong? 
waiting for the contestants. Let's see what the strategy is here. Maybe people decide not to answer, but we'll see. Mike has a comfortable lead. Does he take chances even if he doesn't know the answer? Let's see what the contestants have decided to do. So let's see. Two people answered Paul Gray. Metal Dan and Mike both know that Paul Gray were in, was in Slipknot before passing away. So, um, Brad, you didn't answer. So let's see. Mike is pulling away here. Brad is in second, and Metal Dan is in third. He's in Thoid. So, uh, let's see here. Richard Patrick of Filter was in a band with Wes Borland of Limp Biscuit. What was the name? Was it Drowning Pool? Was it Tapeworm? Was it Nine Inch Nails? Or was it The Damning Well? Which one of these is the correct answer? Aha. Really not a trick question. Because there was only two of these where they overlapped. The correct answer is damning well. Tapeworm did not have Wes Borland in it. It did have Richard Patrick, had Marilyn Manson, had um, Tommy Victor from Prong, which he later sued Trent Reznor saying that he had pilfered some of his riffs. So let's see, Metal Dan. See, question seven, things are starting to warm up. Mike took a chance there. Minus 16,666. So let's see which one of these was not a drummer in Judas Priest, Les Binks, Zach Starkey, Scott Travis, or Dave Holland. Which one of them is the out-and-out out oh, lie? lie? So. Can you get it? Oh, yeah! Wes played in Nine Inch Nails. To my knowledge, Wes Borland never played in Nine Inch Nails. He played a quick stint in Marilyn Manson. And he had Blacklight Burns, but... But not Nine Inch Nails, as far as I know. Zach Starkey. So two of you were correct, and that was Gene Simmons. So I, didn't, I don't have an ace... But I've got a, a, a Gene Simmons. Let's see here. Metal Dan. Squeaking it out over Brad. Total scores here. Metal Dan pulls ahead. That was question eight, I believe. So, um... We're, we're getting to the thick of it. Slight lead for Metal Dan. Let's see. No, this is question 10. Okay. What's the only Nirvana song that Dave Grohl sung? Is it Big Sky? Is it Marigold? Is it Serve the Servant? Or is it Everlong? Which of them did Dave Grohl sing on? Let's see. Let's see. It won't move fast enough.
All right, let's reveal it. Two of you guys said Marigold. Well, let's see. Trying to find some uh, interesting uh, things here. So let's see, let's see what the uh, the final is because it's it's over, Johnny. Oh my God! Ah, ten points separates Mike from Metal Dan, but. This is a technicality um, because Metal D because Metal Dan, <laughs> uh, because I fucked that question up and he lost 17,000 points. So what I will do is this. Um, being that, uh, that I fucked that question up, Mike wins, but I'll give the two of you guys, if you want, I'll give you guys the um the discount to the uh to the merch store. I mean, uh, no holding a gun to anyone's head. What if you want to buy merch? Uh some of the stuff that I have up there now, you're more than welcome to do so and I will provide you with a discount. Uh Mike, since you've already won before, I'll give you a, a different discount. So outside of the um Yeah, third place actually got a code last week. So Dan is the only one that I haven't given a code to. And in all fairness, he won the first two weeks before I started doing this stuff. So what I'll do is is the code that I usually give out to the first place person, I'll give it to Dan, and then I'll give you... There you go. Um, Apple channel. It's actually on the Disney channel. The, the Beatles documentary. It's not Apple. I think it's already out. I watched part of the first one. And the first thing, to me it was painful because seeing Yoko sitting there just remind me of a really bad band situation that I was in with our own Yoko. So if you watch the uh, the live stream at all on Fridays, the Signals from Mars live stream, my brother's been on the show referencing it before, our Yoko, because he knows the stories. But, uh, you know, the, oh, why don't you play more ballads? I don't like this song. So, but whatever. Anyway, guys, thanks once again for being here. Trivia Tuesday is always a lot of fun. It is definitely a high point in the week. Next week, uh, I don't know if I can share my screen here. Um, or if I can share the graphic that I have. No, I don't know that I can. But uh, anyway, so next week will be Kiss Trivia. Um, the next few weeks, next week is going to be kiss trivia. The following week is going to be Motley Crue trivia. And then the last week before we go on the two week hiatus will be Iron Maiden trivia. So if you guys are big fans of either one of those three bands, we're going to have trivia based on them. And... It's going to be completely different questions. I'm hoping that it will help draw a lot of people in. We'll, we'll see. Uh, there, there's two things. I hope that, honestly, that it helps bring people in. And at the same time, I, I do hope that one of the diehards wins. How about that? Because you guys are here pretty much every week. And I think it would be awesome to have one of you guys win. Um, if you could give, um, which prong song did Peter Chris cover? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, let's give, uh, Mike's 
photography um, account on Instagram. Uh, like he he's always taking awesome concert pictures and posting this stuff. So definitely uh, something that I highly recommend. If you guys want to follow it, follow his account. Go ahead and do so. He always posts a lot of great stuff on there. So um, anyway, going to wrap this up. Going to post the uh, Mark Striegel episode. Let's see if Metal Dan is is correct in his assessment. Um, <laughs> all I can do is give you a big wink here as to uh, whether you're right or not, but uh, you'll find out in a few minutes. So there you go. All right, guys, thanks again. See you next time right here on Trivia Tuesday on the Signals from Mars. Around signals from Mars Twitch. See you guys.